All right, Illini football fans, this Saturday, we're going to find out if Illinois is going to win the West or blow the West. It's all in their hands, just like it was against Michigan State, and they blew it. This whole year, their offense has been garbage in the red zone and at the goal line or short yardage situations. It makes no sense. Chase Brown leading the nation in rushing yards and probably attempts. They just can't seem to get him in the end zone. He only has five touchdowns. That's insane. That might be a record. 257 carries and only five touchdowns. That seriously might be a record. So, Michigan State, they blew it. You had everything in your hands. You had an outrageous ranking of 16 in the college football playoff when your best win would have been against Minnesota. Um, You had your AP ranking 15. And if you beat Michigan State, that goes up a little bit and you beat Purdue goes up even more, but you blow it. And then you got Purdue coming in. And if Illinois loses this game, I am going to be sick. I will be sick. O'Connell, 15 touchdowns, 10 picks. Illinois, They can pick this guy, obviously. They got to do it. Maccabee, 117 carries, six touchdowns. Six touchdowns, and Chase has five. That is insane. Receiving 61 catches, 537, five touchdowns for Isaiah. And here is their, here's the guy they throw it to all the time. Jones, 83 receptions, nine touchdowns. Who do you think they're going to throw the ball to in the red zone? This guy has to be shut down. So Witherspoon, he's got to go get this guy, um, shut him down. So Illinois should win this game. They really should. No excuses. Purdue's not a good team. The Big Ten West sucks. That's why Illinois has only lost to Big Ten East teams. Because the East is just infinitely better. Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State. And then you have Maryland, Michigan State, Indiana. Well, after you play... Penn State, Ohio State, and Michigan, and you play a team from the West, that's easy. Ask Michigan State. Go go ask them. After playing Michigan, how easy was it to play against Illinois? And I promise you, they'll say it was real easy. So the West sucks. And it doesn't help that Iowa and Wisconsin suck. That hurts the West. But Illinois, I give them credit. Because of it, they're ahead of schedule. And for the most part, they've taken advantage. They find themselves in first place. They can either beat Purdue and then beat Northwestern, win the West, go to the Big Ten title game, or... Lose to Purdue, and then your season's over. Because if you think they're going to beat Michigan, just stop yourself. Just stop it. Don't even think such a thing. And if you beat Northwestern, it doesn't mean anything. So this is the game. Illinois has to win. They should dominate this team. 
This week, Brett Bielema, they have made it a focus to work on the red zone, goal line, short yard situations. That's what they began practice with. It's been a priority all week. During the Nebraska game, I was saying that even though they won, I was highly upset with the lack of touchdowns. The pathetic red zone, goal line, short yard situations. And people were saying that I was wrong, that it's okay, um, it's good, kick a field goal. And I said, no, it's terrible, that's not good. You're not going to win a game against a good team with offense like that. And, of course, I was right. They were wrong, as they clearly can see now. It is a failure to get into the red zone or to be at the goal line or to have a short yard situation and not to be able to get that first down or that touchdown. That's a failure. Illinois fails too much. Look at it. 14 lousy touchdowns for Tommy when the kid is 72% is his completion percentage. But he only has 14 touchdowns because he doesn't have the best receivers in the country. But still, he should have way more. He only has two picks. Brown, 257 carries. And climbing, he's going to have, he might have over 400 carries before this year is over. That's insane. But he only has five touchdowns. Let's hope he can get a four-touchdown day Saturday. Based on what I've seen, the tight end for Illinois, Ryman, is that his name, Ryman? He can get open. He gets open. He has got to be a focus. The dude gets open. And then you have to get Isaiah Williams the ball. You're the offensive coordinator. You get paid for it. You have to come up with ways to get him the ball. And then when Purdue's defense reacts, that's when you find Pat Bryant over the top or Casey Washington, find him. So, I mean, you can have a pretty decent little offense. You have Chase Brown. And I really believe this tight end is pretty good. I really believe that tight end is going to be drafted by the Patriots. And he's going to be a little star, a little tight end for Bill Belichick. I really believe that. When I watch him play, that's what it looks like to me. I really like that player. So Purdue's quarterback, he throws interceptions. Obviously, 10 picks. Illinois will have chances on defense. Uh, As far as receiving, this Jones player, nine touchdowns. Illinois has to focus on this kid. You have to. You got to shut him down. You can't let this dude destroy you. You just can't. That's embarrassing. So Illinois, they should win. They really should. They got the better quarterback. They got the better running back. They got the better defense. And I don't know what else they got better, but they should win. Um, ESPN Analytics, which, what does that mean? I mean, they 65% chance Illinois wins. It should be 100. It should be 100. If Illinois loses this game, I'm going to be sick. I will be sick. The season will be over. It will be remembered as the season that Illinois choked it away. I hope you guys understand the significance of this game. Illinois has been in the gutter for a long time. To go from the gutter a program that no one talks about or thinks about. You guys do know this, don't you, that Illinois football 
that when you go around the country, people don't even know Illinois has a football team. It's nothing. It's a joke. And this year, you had people talking about you nationally. That hasn't happened in a long time. Illinois football existed. And it shows in the recruiting. The recruiting has picked up. It makes a difference when people know you have a football program. So for Illinois to man up, beat Purdue, beat Northwestern, win the West, go to the Big Ten title game, this is huge. Huge for the players, the coaches, the school, the fans, the recruits. You're ahead of schedule. There's no reason why you can't do this. Illinois can be the best program in the West. They really can. Now, if they were in the East, I would tell you, they have no chance to be on the level of Michigan and Ohio State or even Penn State. That's just a fact. It is what it is. But Illinois can be better than Wisconsin and Iowa and Minnesota. They can be in Purdue. They absolutely can be better than them. So <clears throat> from here on out, Illinois win the West, go to the Big Ten title game. You know, you're going to get blown out by Michigan. You'll get blown out by Ohio State or Michigan. And you'll go to a bowl game, a, a respectable one, actually a good one. Maybe you get matched up with an SEC team, and you probably get beat up in that game too. But that doesn't take away the fact that you won the West, even though the West is pathetically bad. You were in the Big Ten title game, and you're in a good bowl game. That is a lot better than having a losing season in the Big Ten, sitting at home during the bowl season, wishing the program wasn't this pathetic. So I give a lot of credit to the coaches. They did an outstanding job. You guys got to remember, too, they're doing all this with the majority of the roster being zero-star players. This roster doesn't have five stars and four stars. They don't even really have three-star players. It's the majority zero- and one-star players. So when you really think about it, what they're getting out of these players is amazing. It really is. It makes you wonder, what could they do with five-star, four-star, and a bunch of three-star recruits? Seriously, if you played defense in high school, why in the world would you not want to come to Illinois? When you see what he can do with zero-star players, what do you think he would do with you if you're a four-star, five-star player, or even a three-star? What do you think he would get out of you? I'm telling you, if I was a defender, I would go to Illinois. And if you're a running back, you want to go to Alabama and wait three years for your chance to run the ball when you could go to Illinois in day one, have a honest chance at rushing for 2,000 yards. Illinois has never had a running back that has been a five-star or even a four-star. I mean, somebody who, when they touch the ball, um, they're a home run threat no matter where they are. Why, why not? Why can't one of them running backs just come to Illinois, rush for over 2,000 yards, have – over 25 touchdowns and just have yourself a year. If you're an offensive lineman, why not Illinois? Brett Bielema knows how to raise up them offensive linemen. And if you're a quarterback, why not Illinois? A, a great offensive line, a great running game, a great defense. I mean... What's not to love? Get the tight ends and the receivers. You got to upgrade the receivers, though. I mean, the tight ends, receivers, that's really the lacking the lacking um, part of the, of the team. 
But when you got a good offensive line, good little quarterback, uh, I'm thinking you could get the receivers. So, of course, you know, they're never going to be on Ohio State, Michigan's level, but they can be the program of the West. So, big game, though, big game. Saturday, ESPN 2, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Illinois, the, the the future of this the the future of this season hangs in the balance. You have to win this game, and then you have to beat Northwestern. It's just that simple. You tell the team. I told you guys that if we handle our business against Michigan State, we control our destiny. And guess what? You guys went out there and you couldn't score a touchdown. How did it feel? Well, as bad as that felt, you're really going to feel like crap if we lose to Purdue. And if you think the fans are going to show up for that, you're you're wrong. And the fans, they couldn't even sell out the game against Michigan State. They couldn't even fill the student section against Michigan State because the reality is in the majority of Illinois fans' hearts, They just don't believe in Illinois. Illinois has been so bad for so long that they just don't believe. They think they're frauds. They're not frauds. They just play in the West. So they're the, they're the best team in the West. And you know, I just, that's what it is. But what a shame. What are you students doing? So cool that you can't show up to Illinois and watch a little football game. That's embarrassing. If you live around that stadium, think of it as charity. Write it as a tax write-off. Go to the game. Cheer on the Illini. It is embarrassing to see that stadium not sold out. So embarrassing. It doesn't help our recruiting, by the way. It doesn't help at all. A recruit comes... And the student section is not even close to being uh, filled. The stadium is not even close to being sold out. What do you think a recruit thinks about that? So this is Illinois' last home game, and it's against Purdue. Purdue wants to beat Illinois with all their heart, and Illinois wants to beat Purdue with all their heart. It's going to be a game. Illinois should dominate them, beat them, beat them down. They have to after that debacle against Michigan State. But fans, you got to go there. Show up there. Show some support. Make some noise. Cheer on the team. They're going to need it. So anyway, um, of course, that's an early game. Then I sleep during the day. But I'm going to try to wake up, even though I got to work that same night. But I'm, I'm going to try to wake up, and I'll try to stream the game, watch it. And I'll definitely, I'll definitely wake up. I have to. This is, too, this is too big of a game not to wake up for. So I'll, I'll have to sacrifice my sleep. But um, Illinois, they better make it worth it. So... All right, Illinois basketball plays uh, Friday night, this Friday night, tonight. I'll be at work watching the second half of the game. Then I'll talk about it afterward. But anyway, you guys let me know. Who's going to win this game, Illinois or Purdue? I'm telling you right now, Illinois has to win. So they're going to win or their season is over in a disaster fashion. All right. 